It's raining. <laughs> So guys, today I spent 13 hours at Islands of Adventure for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Insane time. Yes, it was projected to be a 600 minute wait, but I did 13 hours and it was disastrous and super difficult. As a matter of fact, you guys may not believe me. Let let me just show you guys what I'm talking about right now. Universal Orlando today, fans waited in line up to 10 hours to get a shot at being among the first to ride its newest roller coaster. It opened to the public for the first time this morning. Crowds were lined up well before dawn at Universal's Islands of Adventure for their shot at being among the first to get on the new Harry Potter themed roller coaster. At one point, the ride was of a 10 hour wait. By midday, the Universal app was reporting between five and six hours. Initially, I was like, I'm not going to make it because I'm going to melt and starve to death. But I'm still here. The roller coaster is the longest in Florida. It features seven launches, a 17 foot vertical drop, and some of the wand to get yourself out of this weight in the time it takes to stand in line for Universal Studios' newest Harry Potter themed ride. You could start and finish one. At one point today, the line was 10 hours long. That is crazy. I, your whole day is wrapped All up. All day. That, yeah. For one ride. What's the point of that? Well, those riders are dealing with a roller coaster of delays now. But they can't wait to get on board. The new station's Valerie Boy has the latest on the long wait. Universal Orlando, Harry Potter fans are in for a wizarding wait as they stand in line for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. We talked to unofficial guides reporter Seth Kuberski via FaceTime as he's in line. 600 minute wait as temperatures rise. It's pretty it's, it's, uh, it's going to be hot. It's hot. Very hot. The ride is a $300 million coaster. It takes you on a mile long journey through the forbidden forest on Hagrid's motorbike, and the anticipation to ride it is through the roof. I like your boots. <laughs> but he says Universal is trying their best. Even Orlando International Airport joked about the line saying it starts here. Seth says many of the diehard fans are annual pass holders, but if you're not, if this is your only day. Express passes are not 
just yet, the attraction follows Hagrid on a journey through the recreated Forbidden Forest. That's a Universal Orlando today, fans waited in line up to 10 hours to get a shot at being among the first to ride its newest roller coaster. It opened to the public for the first time this morning. Crowds were lined up well before dawn at Universal's Islands of Adventure for their shot at being among the first to get on the new Harry Potter themed roller coaster. Marla Howard and her boys arrived at 6 dressed in their Harry Potter best. How excited were they? Plus hours, just laying down in the queue line right now. Just, 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 just laying down in the queue line. That's all I can do, because it is delayed yet again. That is crazy. I, your whole day is wrapped all up in day. It has now been a two-hour delay in counting. Two hours. It's time. What's the point of that? <laughs> Alright, so overall, it was a super crazy day, as you guys saw. It rained on me. Um, I still haven't slept, even at the time of recording. I've slept 20 minutes in the last 40 hours and went straight to the park. I went to work yesterday and then uh, in the morning, and then I uh, did a podcast with my boy Daryl. Uh, which the link in, uh, will be in the description below of Third String Podcast. Amazing. Guys, check it out. Um, and then after that, I rested for two seconds. That's when I took my 20-minute nap. Then I drove from uh, Georgia to uh, Orlando overnight at 1130. Got here at 630 with a little break in between and then checked in. Um, I'm at the Aventure Hotel right now. Universal is super amazing. Um, it's incredible, actually. Um, then I stayed here because of getting in early, but then I find I found out that uh, Universal allows the early admissions to the park, not Islands of Adventure. So I had to wait. I got there. We we got there. Started the queue. They started queuing at six thirty, but we wanted to get some Starbucks. I needed it. I was driving eight p uh, eight a.m. We started queuing. And then uh, didn't finish till after nine o'clock. So all in all, I think it the operations it went down. The ride went down six times today. Uh, the last time um, the delay was three hours, over three hours, about three hours and fifteen minutes. Uh, two delays with inclement weather with the rain delay, um, and as I mentioned, six. Uh, technical difficulties. The again, it was projected on the app, six hundred minute wait. It went over that because of those issues, but you're talking about the queue line guys started at the Hulk coaster, the Incredible Hulk coaster. That's insane. That's almost at the entrance of Islands of Adventure, and we're starting the queue there, going through Seuss Landing then the uh, Lost Continent, then backstage, which you guys saw, backstage, then behind the Lost Continent, then you get in the Wizarding World of uh, Harry Potter, get into Hogsmeade, and then you start the queue. Forever long, I think they need to take some time, which they're not, just universal, love you guys, you know this is my uh, favorite park of all time, it was my home park. But... 
with all the difficulties and issues outside of your control, such as rain, it's almost like, or universal rather, universal needs to take a week off, fix what's going wrong. Because to break down six times is ridiculous. Uh, I didn't get to do an outro um, at the park. I was super hyped, and plus they were kicking us out. I was trying to buy a, a mug, because I always do uh, when I get a... Um, visit a new attraction so i ended up getting it uh, i'll show you guys follow me on my instagram at uh annual period pass holder linked right there as you can see yeah so i didn't get to film an outro and um i'm doing it now uh back in the hotel so all in all um the ride was incredible you're talking about theming and i actually do believe that it is the best the best roller coaster in Orlando, hands down. Uh, and Mako's up there, but uh, and the, the whole coaster is pretty amazing too. But this is the best roller coaster in Orlando, without a doubt, and I really believe that. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below. I will tell you more about my journey of um, I only I ate only three times in two days, <clears throat> drove. At 11.30 at night to 6.30 in the morning um, to get here, I worked in the morning and I only slept 20 minutes in like 40 hours in, within that span. So, and then spent 13 hours in a queue line slash eventually riding the ride. Um, they felt so bad because the operations were so delayed, but they felt so bad that they kept the ride open um to finish out the queue because it was a super long way everybody was waiting there all day so they kept that open past uh operation time which is amazing of them they either had to do that or they had to uh issue a refund which uh, a big business like that's not going to do so um so we ended up riding the ride a little bit after nine o'clock and it honestly was flat out amazing and worth it didn't like getting rained on uh, didn't like waiting super long where they let you, if they, they would give you a ticket, let you go to the bathroom, you can grab food and all that stuff, but they did give you free water, but I think they could have given you free food too with that wait. I don't think that they were prepared uh, for that length of time. They were by uh, prepared by setting up, but I don't think a 10 hour queue from the jump before the park even opens is ethical or right period uh 10 hours is way too long they should have moved it up at least to the great continent and capped it off at least four or five hours and let you know people i'm sorry you have to come back another day we did it and we hope that you guys enjoy the footage and the video a little bit different but all in all good it was just way too long and hot to do the typical good vlog but um more of that style will come following but hopefully you guys enjoy and uh we thank you guys so much for joining us leave a like on this video and comment let me know if you guys would wait it this long in a queue for this uh ride so thank you guys so much and hit that subscribe button and thank you so much peace